Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to open up a K-Mini and a K-Mini Plus. So this is the K-Mini. The K-Mini Plus has a removable reservoir, but I've been getting a lot of, so they come in different colors. This is just the J Jonathan Adler version. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on my video that they leak water. I'm gonna to try to figure out where they're leaking water. This I have not had one leak water yet, but it seems to be a problem. So we're gonna make sure it's unplugged. I'm gonna come down here. We've got some screws to take out. We got one here, here. Okay, so there's only two screws on the bottom, right here. These two, down this long shaft, there's, there's not screws. There's not screws there. So just these two screws here. But I think I'm gonna to have to take this part off. So this part separates right here, but I think you just gotta unsnap it. I don't know that there's a way that you can specially unsnap it, but if you get something right in here in this groove and then you can just unsnap it and then maybe we got to do the same to this side. So then it does look like it comes off the back. Looks like it's going to stay. So the cord is gonna stay on. The cord won't go through there, but. Okay, so we got pretty good access now. So yeah, down those long shafts, we got pretty good access. Um, the screw goes in this way to that shaft. So looks like we got a big heating element. So right there looks like a possibility for water leaking. These tubes are all held on with just, you know, they, they don't put a zip tie on them or nothing. On this side, again, we've got water coming. Those look like, and you know, we got this big tank, but these there's another tube that goes down. I wonder if these are vents or something. I gotta find where those go. That's a tube, that looks like an overpressure relief valve. There's the circuit card. Looks like a water pump. Okay, so disassembling this any farther. So this might help. Just getting this outer cover off might do the trick. But I'm trying to, I'm starting to figure out these. So there's this line here. This is a vent. This is an air pump. So it's going to suck air from here. But if you look, it's a little hard to tell. But see that little groove right there? There is a little hole there. That's your vent. That's where it's gonna suck air for the air pump. So when the air pump kicks on towards the end, it's gonna suck some air, push it in this line. I did find the water pump is up here even far. It's a little farther up here. Now let's go to the other side. So we've got this uh, tube connected to this. And again, if I look right here, it's a little hard to see. I'm trying to get it, but there's another little groove. See that? See that groove? That's kind of up in there. There's a hole. It's really hard to see. See that hole right there? That's what that tube goes to. Now I think this could be a possibility for a leak. Um, this is an overpressure relief valve, so when it um, when the, when the pump kicks on, water's gonna come in this area and then go up. But if your Keurig overpressurizes, it's gonna release some of the pressure out of this. Now I do see, so this is a tank. I do see a line connected to the bottom of that tank, which, and it's got a zip tie on it. It definitely could be that line too. That one's gonna take a little bit more work. I'm gonna take these two screws off. So there's a screw right here. Don't, don't mess with these. This one right here goes into this plastic. And then there's one on the other side. I'm gonna mess, I'm gonna take that off. Okay, we're getting close, but I gotta, there's a, on the back side here, I got those two screws off. But this, there's black part here is connected to a screw and then this cable. I'm gonna take both these, so three more screws. Okay, once we get those out, there's these little tabs right here, back, back in this area. See that little tab? We gotta lift that past. There's one on this side. We gotta do them at the same time. 
Okay, there's another hidden screw on the other side of this black thing. I got the power cord, the other one, but there's one hidden right here. You can see it right there. Okay, again, on this side, I got that screw. There's a screw right there. There's two screws for the power cord, and there's a screw right there. And then this screw right here, and then these tabs. Why oh, it's still not wanting to come up. Okay, so there's another hidden screw. And this one's right there. And it's that, in order to get this bottom plate off, that's got to come out. I don't see how I'm going to get that out. Right there. Okay, so now I'm going to start to go from the top. So there's a screw right there. And then there's a screw right there on the top. So that's the, that's the top of the tank, this black thing. There's two screws. Okay, so you didn't need to do those two screws. There's just a tab right here. There's a tab that's holding this black thing. But what's preventing is there's two screws right here preventing from getting this, this top thing off. So I can get it pretty loose like this. But I'm going to have to find how to get to those screws on the front. Okay, I'm getting somewhere now. I've got to disconnect this right there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. So that was simpler than I made it. There's just a tab right here. And then you disconnect these little hooks right here. But it, you got a lot of connections between the two. I took two screws out you didn't have to. That's for the water pump. Okay, so with this apart like this, I still can't get to that. There's a screw. Well, I probably could. I could probably get the screw out to get this bottom thing off. But I, you might be able to access that tube right there. That tube could be causing your water leak. I would check to make sure that it is on with a zip tie. Again, three possibilities. Well, there's a bunch of possibilities. I mean, it could be any one of these tubes that are, that are leak. If anybody finds what the common problem is, update the show notes. Again, this is a, a check valve. And these water lines just pop on and off. That thing could be causing you problems. Doesn't look like you can fix that in any way. But you just put the line back on. You could put a little zip tie on it to make sure it didn't come off in the future. Let's take a look underneath here. So here's the, here's the water reservoirs up here. There's your at, that's how it knows when the it's ran enough water through. The water comes down, and when there's no more water between these two connections, this is the bottom of the water reservoir. It comes up, goes over to the pump, goes over to this. This is your water pump. Water pump fills this tank. Then it gets heated. like the air pump comes right here goes into the top of the tank so the top of the tank so I wonder if the air pump pushes the water out at the end that would make sense maybe and then so I wonder at what stage it's leaking is it leaking in the very first stage or is it leaking when it when it uh, when it actually pushes the water out of it and goes into your k-cup that might tell some differences so then it comes out of the bottom of the tank and that's where it goes to the K cup right there. That could be loose. You know, all of these tubes are, you know, they're on there pretty good, but I could see where one, that one's probably, this one's a little loose on the pump. this anymore just because that's the kind of like the air side 
you know, it could be the it could be the water tank. I mean, maybe your water tank is leaking. Okay, so I took this apart a lot farther. Uh, I pretty much ended up destroying it because I had to cut some wires to get more access to it. But I'm glad I did because I took all these screws. There, remember, you seen a bunch of screws that were holding this. Uh, this is like the water tank. I think this is probably where the leak's coming from. So when those screws are coming, when, when you take those screws out, now again, mine wasn't leaking, but boy, this looks like a real potential. That's your water. That's your water tank. So the water comes in the top. It mix, it sits in here where there's the heating element. There's an O-ring right there. And I'll bet maybe after a while it gets um, exposed to heat or something, but I'll bet there is a big potential and then this probe here this probe here has an o-ring right there and it goes into this tank it could be leaking around that probe um again the again the so the line this this does seem on there like it's on there pretty good so if, if it's not a tube it's probably this this tank and i definitely could see that now these yeah these were water sensors or something because they go different levels of the tank but this is very very interesting again so if it's coming out around that if it's coming right between this this these two that water could come right between those two uh, right openings right there yeah, so again, when it comes apart, that water, those screws, I mean, you could try tightening those screws to see if that, that sealed it better. That might be an option. But to get to this point, to get to those screws, it takes a lot of disassembly. So if it's anywhere around this tank, if, if it's anywhere in this seam, yeah, I'm probably going to say you're going to have to get another one. But again, it could be around there, probably not around there. It's a water... You know, here's going to be my recommendation. Pop this cover. This cover. I wouldn't go any farther than this cover here. So popping this cover off wasn't that big a deal. Okay. Starting to take screws apart. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get some of those screws back in. Um, so if you can't get it with this cover popped off, I'm going to say it's probably not. These. This is not really meant to be worked on that much. Um lot going on a little tricky so no screws don't take any screws out just take this cover off if you're not able to find it with that i'm gonna have to say you're probably going to get a new one it, it can be done it can be put back together it's it's extremely cumbersome so i hope this video helps i've got other videos i show you how to take apart a case slim and also a case supreme those seem those those were definitely a lot easier to come apart this one, not so much. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.